So as we talk today, inflation is uh, very high. Uh, it's likely that interest rates are going to go up and continue to go up for a while. Uh, does that make you nervous about the next year or so in terms of investments? Are you changing your strategy because of what's going on in the inflation and interest rate world? You know, our core investment strategies and the way that we completely view the world and build portfolios is with long-term returns in mind. And that is the prize. That's what we're looking for is long-term compounding returns. So we tend not to adjust kind of for shorter-term gyrations. Now, that being said, I do think we are at a point of really fundamental change. I mean, think about it. It's been a decade of basically free money with a whole bunch of consequences of that, including some probably severely inflated valuations in certain sectors. You could argue that it's been, what, 40 years of structurally declining interest rates, and that has come to an end. And I actually do think that is a really important thing. And we've been thinking a lot about positioning portfolios, not just now, but over the past several years, about how to position portfolios to actually have the resiliency and be positioned to participate in growth over the going forward five, seven, ten year return. Now, as we talk, there's a war going on in Ukraine, and it's obviously changed uh, people's perspectives on many things, including the energy supply chain and food supply chain. Does it affect the way you uh, advise your clients, or it doesn't really have that much big of an impact? You know, in the short term, no. But I think that's another really important global factor. You know, we think a lot about just the broad context of which portfolios are built and in which, in which we're investing. And I think that the issues that are created by uh, rising, e rising energy prices, rising food prices, across the emerging markets, across Africa, across the Middle East, it's a very severe and potentially destabilizing set of factors. And so just as we you know, think about in a completely different set of vectors, the impact on sort of economies, on uh, portfolios of sort of geopolitical tensions with China or a relationship with China, so too I think that the changing um, stability of governments and sort of the, the mapping of that has, has a potentially a really significant impact on just how economies will look going forward over the next decade. The economy in the United States seems to be doing okay, but there's some people that say there might be a recession a year from now or so because we're raising interest rates and uh, in the end that will probably slow down the economy. Are you worried about a recession? I think that we are definitely in for a period of, if not an actual recession, at, at a minimum, a re-rating of valuations that is sort of related to increasing rates and slowing growth. Um, you know, I think that the parallels to what we are seeing um, to 1999, um, it, it's different, but there are some definite analogs, is something that we're very mindful of. and. And it's getting back to this idea about um, focusing on the long term and making sure that our portfolios are situated to participate in that and not being overly distracted by short-term volatility, but yet being mindful that there is definitely shifts that are happening in the overall landscape that we're, and we need to position against that.